Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the month of October in my catch-all happy planner. This is the monthly spread. I have my dates right here that I'll need to fill in, which isn't too much this month, so this is good. And I'm going to be using um, a new sticker book that will be releasing on Monday, September 30th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'll do a flip through here and then we can do a plan with me. I'm not sure which set I want to use from here yet, but it is called Spooky Chic Volume 2. So we'll do a quick flip through. The first set's going to be some nice moody florals, some deep purples and blues. So this is on white sticker paper and then the same on clear. And then we have different sets of the stickers or the florals um, with the um, straight edges, some floral wreaths, and this is going to be in white and clear as well. So with these wreaths, if it's on clear, you can always go in with a Sharpie or I like to use them to layer a box over. I find that really pretty sometimes. And then we go into our little layering elements. These are both going to be on clear and they just have some fun shapes. We have spider webs, moon, and a little combination of all of them at the bottom. So both of those are clear and then we get to the coordinating boxes for this set. So we have one page of these and then one page of these. And then we have the clusters for the set and then I filled in the space with some extra florals. So you get two of those. Then the next set's a little brighter, but still kind of spookyish. You'll see in the next um, the next set of designs. But I liked all the vivid colors in here and the white outlines of the flowers. I really like that a lot. You get this in white and clear. And then we come here where we have some bats, a spooky tree, some of these. Um, they remind me of like wrought iron gates. And then um, this skeleton hand, a skull, just some cute little spooky elements. Then this page is going to be, they're both on clear. So these are frames. Again, you can use like a Sharpie S-Gel or um, my vision was layering them with another box. So we have two straight edge pieces with like the red moody colors and then these kind of, it's like um like a stippled look to it. So you get two of those and then the coordinating boxes. And then the clusters for this set. And you can see what I mean whenever I said combine them. It creates like a fun look for it. So you get two of those and then the last one's probably my favorite it's like cute halloween cute retro-y so we start off with some quotes these are going to be in white and clear spooky vibes pumpkin wishes and candy corn kisses peekaboo stay spooky i love the ghosts they are just adorable this is going to be on white and clear as well these little like cake pops are stinking cute yeah, I love this set. And then we have some spider webs, a tombstone, some potions, stars, all the fun things. That's going to be in white and clear. And then we have the matching boxes. And then for my clusters, there was a mishap in the manufacturing process. So rather than getting two of the cluster sheets on white sticker paper, one actually came on clear sticker paper so to reflect that the price is discounted slightly since I mean it is usable but it just makes it harder to use you'd have to like either use a, a pen that'll work on clear sticker paper or cover it up with another box or layer something else over it either way these are all still usable and if you really wanted to be technical you can make it work so that is going to be the entire flip through with this. So with that, let's get started. I think I do want to just go ahead and use this cute ghosty set here. 
So let's see. I actually, the 14th through the 18th, my oldest has out of school. The 19th is the pumpkin patch. I'm trying to see if I have any days that kind of end up on top of each other. Which it doesn't look like. Because I wanted to use a cluster, but I don't think that that's going to work. <clears throat> I could do this big one down here for Halloween, though. Because there are two events on that Wednesday and the actual day of Halloween. So I'm going to place this one down here to start. And I did kind of go into this hole a little bit. So I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and trim this out. Okay. Okay, what else do we need? I have, there's a birthday party on the 5th, so let's go to the boxes. I'm going to add one there. And then I have something going on on the 1st. And then the 19th. And then just no school the 14th through 18th. So what color do I want to use? Okay, so that's all the stuff that I know about for now. Now we can go in with some cute, fun designs. I definitely want to try and use some of these quotes. Actually, let me, before I do that, I want to put this in the sidebar. Okay. Just to add some more boxes on the page, kind of even it out a little bit. Now... I'm going to put this in the corner here. I want to add another kind of cobweb over here. But I want it behind this box. And I don't want to cut it, so I'm just going to try and pull it up if possible. Oh no, I might have to cut it. Let me get my other X-Acto knife. I like that one a lot better. However, I don't think I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay. So now I just need my washi cutter. And I'm going to do my best to create... A straight line. Let's see if that worked. Okay, that looks decent. Yeah, I want to put a quote here because I have that extra space. So let's do... I really like this spooky vibe, so I just don't know if it's going to be too big, but then again, I don't really know if I have anything else planned to go there. Alright, so I'm going to layer that one there. Alrighty. And then we have all these fun filler pieces to work with, so I'm going to add a few of those there. Maybe add another quote. I could probably get away with another quote. That peekaboo is cute. Okay. Let's keep moving. 
Actually, let me go to the clusters page because I want to include more of this washi tape in here in some places if possible. It is a little big, but I can tear it. Oop, it's not tearing right. Okay, that's decent. It's not the best, but I think it can work. Okay, got that part. I think I want to add a little bit right here, but that's a little too long. So I'm going to put it right here and we're going to trim it a little shorter. Easier to work with. much going on over here okay oh I don't want it there just because I have it right there on the page so I'm gonna move it to this lower box here now let's add some fun things to this box down here in this corner I'm going to add this ghost right there. All right, and I also want to add another box just to kind of layer over there. So let's grab an orange one. I haven't used that color on this page yet. I'll put that one over here. And what else can we put? I feel like we can fit something right there. Oh. Uh, this pumpkin's cute. Or not pumpkin, mushroom. I was looking at the pumpkin when I was trying to say mushroom. Okay, let's see what else we can add here. I feel like we should add a few things over here, maybe a ghost or two because I don't have any. So... I'm going to put him behind here. Okay. Oh, this little cappuccino is really cute too. All right, let's add a few of these starry elements over here. I'm gonna grab another cluster and put those right here. Let's see. Maybe we can add some of this candy over here. I haven't added any pumpkins yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I kind of like how it's looking so far. It is kind of empty in the middle. Uh, what I could do is I could put a box here stating, um, it's like a school break. So let's do that. And then we can include like a pumpkin or something there. Oh, look at this candy corn. This candy corn's adorable. I want to include something with that pumpkin so it's not just sitting there by itself.
Okay. Let's add a few of these over here. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. I think it's turning out pretty good. All right, I don't feel like picking up that leaf, but I want to add this little... I don't know what, what it's supposed to be exactly, but it's got like a bony arm with a peace sign. I think it's good. Okay. I think that just about does it. Um, I like to try and keep as much space as possible while also still enjoying my um, creativeness on not being, having to be super functional. But I, on my catch-all at least, I like it to be where I can add if needed. So I think this is a good balance. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. Let me know what your favorite um, set is from this book as well. I'm really interested to see what everybody's favorite is. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.